Hey guys, so today's video, we are gonna be testing out a ton of new drugstore makeup. I have not done drugstore in so long, like it's been forever, but this is basically what has happened on my face from all this drugstore makeup. I feel like we've got definitely some like warm vibes coming on right now, but we tested out some fun products. I tested out this like face mask too, which is very interesting. So definitely stay tuned for that. Also comment down below what videos you guys want to see from me. I'm getting ready to pre-film. So I love getting your guys' recommendations or even like what products you want to see reviews on. And I will put those on my list because I want to get back into reviews again. So let me know down below you guys. You always always help me out. And if you guys like these first impressions, make sure to give them a thumbs up so that way I know. And without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into this testing out all this new makeup. Boom. Okay, so I first was gonna do this like a full face using e.l.f. makeup, but I realized that there are some products I don't have from e.l.f. So I was like, I'm not gonna do that because people will be mad if I didn't have an e.l.f. foundation, which I don't. So I'm just gonna be using a ton of drugstore new drugstore products that I've had and I haven't tried out yet. So the first one we're gonna try out, we're gonna go into skincare, and I've been dying to use this guy right here. This is the e.l.f. Beauty Shield Antioxidant Enriched Skin Protection. So it's the recharging magnetic mask kit. Like, whoa. This thing seems like gnarly, but let me put my hair back. It feels nice on the skin. Like it, like when I'm gliding it over, it feels so smooth. So it's supposed to replenish your skin and help protect against everyday environmental aggressors. A magnetic tool and iron-based formula work together to visibly lift away surface impurities and minimize the appearance of pores. Skin is left feeling soft and recharged for a smooth makeup ready canvas. So we're gonna wait five to 10 minutes and let this sit on my face. I have to say, it's starting to feel kind of warm. <laughs> All right, so it hasn't been like a full 10 minutes, but this is like starting to really kind of like just get kind of hot on me. Like it's getting itchy right here. So I want to take it off. So I believe you just take this side and it's just like a magnet. Holy crap. The thing like just sucked it right off. Whoa. I just had to go show Joel because this thing was so cool and he's like, his eyes got so big. All right, so let's take off the rest of this. Oh, that looks. Oh my God, that's so neat. All right, so honestly, my skin does not look any different. You can still see my acne scars. It feels the same. It feels like it burned a little bit right here. I don't know if it's because my skin is maybe more sensitive right there. So I give it an A plus for like being innovative and different because I've never seen anything like this, but I think it's a little bit of a gimmick. I don't really think it's gonna do much for your skin. I mean, maybe like pull out blackheads. I don't know. I don't really notice. I don't notice a whole lot, but it's pretty fun to use. We're going to go ahead and keep using more skincare from e.l.f. Cosmetics. So this one right here is the e.l.f. Beauty Shield, and this is the Vitamin C Pollution Prevention Serum. So you apply four to five drops and massage onto clean, dry skin, blend into face, neck, and chest, use in the morning or at night, store in a dark place. So I think this is just supposed to help protect against any effects of everyday environmental aggressors, reduce fine lines, and brighten and even the skin tone, which I could use right now because I've got those scars. That's definitely like what I'm gonna be working on right now, like fixing, take off my ring. So, I think like squirts. Press this into the skin. It feels nice, it doesn't feel sticky, it feels good. I really can't give you guys an impression on that because I don't know how it's gonna perform. We're gonna go ahead and prime the skin with the e.l.f. Prep and Hydrate Balm. This is with purified water, shea, and vitamin E. So this is just a prep and hydrate balm. So it's like a primer. Oh my God, this feels good. Oh, this feels so good. Feels really cooling and just like literally like I'm putting water on my face right now. Oh. This really feels good because that part right here is just kind of burning. <laughs> so I'm just going to rub that into the skin. 
I have two sponges here that we're gonna use to apply our makeup and we have the e.l.f. blending sponge in teal so I'm gonna go wet this and then I also have this silicone one and also this blender right here so I'm gonna wet that one too so I'll be back. I wetted both the sponges this is what they look like this one was really light and airy and it feels even more lighter and airy like it's like really airy I've never felt a sponge like this like a makeup sponge usually they're like more dense this one is like as hard as a rock and then when I wet it it definitely got a little bit more or less dense but it's still pretty solid so we're gonna see which one I like best the only foundation I have that can semi work for me is the matte and poreless from Maybelline this is the natural ivory one right here okay so the first one that I'm gonna apply with I kind of want to apply with this one first and see how this goes so I'm gonna dip it in there For the other side you can see that you can still see all my acne scars there this is like soaking up all the foundation like there's like not much going on to my skin it's like soaking up the foundation I'm gonna go back to this guy okay so here's the foundation on my skin I forgot how good that foundation is like this is a really good foundation from the drugstore it looks really good it's got great coverage it's buildable I really like this sponge the sponge is awesome this one I'm kind of like eh no I don't like it. This one's definitely good. I forgot to use this guy, but yeah, I'll use him a different time. I'll put him back in like my bin for new products to try out. All right, so Essence came out with these like color correctors here. So I think we're gonna do both of these. So I'm first gonna go in with this one. And again, these are from Essence underneath here. Cause God, I've never had dark, dark circles, but boy, do I have them right now. Like, I'm really tired. I just tweeted today, too. It's like, I'm already exhausted, and it's only noon. I'm dying. So then I'm going to add a little bit of this one there, too. Up in here. And I'm going to use my finger to pat it out. Crazy how a little bit of, like, color correcting or just, like, concealer can really change the way that you look. <laughs> it already looks so much brighter there. That looks so good. Okay, perfect. And then... These are the two new CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Concealers. They don't have any name on them, like not shade names. Let's try this one. I think I'm going to regret this. I'm going to blend this out. Oh, that might work, yeah. Oh yeah, that works. Okay, good. Real quick, I really like the Essence Color Sticks. I thought those were great. I think they blend it out beautifully. They're a great formula. They definitely did brighten the eyes. This concealer from CoverGirl is okay. There's really not much brightening to it and there's like no coverage. You guys, I'm gonna cheat because I don't have a concealer light enough right now, but I'm gonna take this one from NARS. Sorry, I know this is in drugstore, but I wanna give everything a good chance. All right, so that is all done. So again, the CoverGirl ones, they just weren't brightening enough. And then also there was like no coverage to it. Like there's no coverage, I need to coverage. All right, so I'm gonna go in with my Air Spun. I have used this before. I believe I used it in like testing out five star rated makeup from Walmart video, but I don't have a translucent setting powder to try out. So I guess, so I was like, you know what? Let's just go and use this one again. It's been a while. To set the rest of the face, we're gonna try out this new CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Powder right here. You even get a sponge on the bottom and then also a mirror, but this is the color. This is the shade 710 Classic Ivory. So I'm just gonna use a fluffy powder brush and I'm just going to press this on the areas where I didn't do the translucent setting powder. Just press it on the outer parts of the face, just so that way our bronzer and everything goes on really nicely. Perfect, I thought this was really nice. It feels really good. It feels like it has good coverage too. We need to totally get some brows on here because <laughs> they're like so naughty. I rarely even pluck my brows, you guys. They just don't grow, it's just how it is. But um, I'm using this new one from CoverGirl. It's just this new pot um, eyebrow. I forgot what these are called. I'm like blanking right now, pregnancy brain really bad. I'm also really tired, but I'm gonna try this out. I doesn't even, the shade is says 720. And then I also have a pencil from Eiler, which is in number 30 blonde that we're gonna test out too. So I'm actually gonna use this spoolie to brush them out. So I'm actually gonna go into my favorite brush. This is the It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe. So I'm just gonna work it into that product and I'm gonna kind of like go off the ends like this to make it really skinny on the brush so I can make really fine strokes. Definitely the 
this eyebrow pot thingy, which I don't know the name of it from CoverGirl. I really, really like it. It made it really easy to work with. I love the color. I'm gonna go fill in the other one and I'll be back. All right, so now that those are done, I'm gonna try out this ColourPop Brow Boss Gel. I believe this one is in clear. Are you an eyebrow setter? I don't even know. I'm just gonna try. Okay, so definitely the CoverGirl pot can't like you guys are all gonna be ending up commenting down below what this is and um, be like oh my god face palm this is so bad but I definitely think that's a dope the ColourPop boss gel honestly I think I think it worked I think it did its job so that's cool so that's okay now I'll just go ahead and finish up the face real quick so I'm gonna go into this physician's formula this is a limited edition butter collection palette light to medium and this is all the products inside right here. Look at this. So we're gonna go ahead and use the bronzer. So I'm just gonna go into it like this. And I'm just going to press it onto the skin. Their butter bronzer literally just glides right onto the skin. It's honestly my favorite bronzer from the drugstore. And it's just amazing. I like that they did this little palette. Kind of reminds me of something like, you know, like the cheek palettes that um, Benefit does. All right, so for blush, I'm like going back and forth between using the blush and natural glow in there or using this Wet n Wild Color Icon Baked Blush. This is their limited edition. This is the Hummingbird Hype. This is beautiful. I saw Kathleen Lights talking about this and I was like, oh yeah, this is really pretty. But it does have quite a bit of shimmer on it and so does this one from the palette. This one's definitely a little bit more toned down. This is really pigmented. So I'm just gonna use this one and I'm gonna use a really light hand with it. I don't really like it on my skin tone. No. Okay, so instead we're gonna go into this number seven right here that I got. This is in the shade Peach Velvet and this is definitely a color I would wear. So this one I think will match me a little bit better. The Wet n Wild one I think would look really pretty if I was just a little bit um, tanner. Don't worry guys, we're gonna tone this down. This is my trick. So I go in with this brush and I blend it out back into the cheeks, you know, and then also you could take your beauty blender and really press everything together. For highlight, I'm gonna go into this one right here. Ooh, that's a highlight. That's a highlight. Before we go into the eyes, I'm gonna use this spray to set my makeup. I've been dying to try this out. This is the e.l.f. Active. They came out with this whole active line and this is the post-workout cool down mist. So it's a refreshing facial mist that nourishes skin with replenishing ingredients and helps you cool down post-workout. Use to set makeup or throughout the day to hydrate and maintain that just got out of yoga glow. Let's see how it sprays. Oh, seems nice. Oh, the spray on this is like so nice. This is definitely nice to like spray on your face after you work out. Like this is refreshing. This is so refreshing and it smells good too. All right, so for the eyes, I literally just unboxed this and I was like, I have got to use this today because it is so pretty and these palettes always really impress me from e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Rose Gold Eyeshadow Palette Sunset right here. So that's what it looks like. Here's the packaging and then you open it up and then there are your colors. Like, oh, so pretty. First off, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my Smith Cosmetics brush and I'm gonna go into the shade right here and I'm just going to place this all into my crease and just buff it out into that crease and a little bit on the outer corner, I'm thinking. That's where I'm kind of leaning to. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna be playing around with this. Okay, so next up, I'm gonna take this shade right here and I'm gonna place this on the inner corner of the lid and see how this goes. I'm gonna use my Sephora number 14 brush. I think it needs a little bit more oomph, so I'm gonna actually gonna use this e.l.f. spray on the brush. And I'm gonna put it in there. Now let's try it. Now for the outer corner, I think I'm gonna use this shade right here. I'm gonna see how this is. If I don't like that one, then I'll probably go into this darker one right here. I'm just gonna place that on the outer part of the lid. We're gonna go back into the Sigma E25 brush into that blush color. And I'm just going to bring this back up here since we lost it a little bit. 
And then next up to deepen the outer portion of the eye, we're gonna go into this shade. It's kind of like a deep plum, I wanna say. So we're gonna go into that one and we're just gonna press that on the outer portion. So that's actually really pretty. We're gonna go into this color right here and I'm gonna place this on the inner corner of the eye. I didn't do a whole lot. All right, so next up we're gonna do some liner. And this is a new one from CoverGirl that I have. This is the 325 Liquid Liner. And it looks like this right here. Kind of reminds me of like that NYC. Oh, it's got such, you guys, it has a really nice fine tip to it. Oh my God, that's awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do this on camera. Hopefully I'm not blocking it, but we'll tr we're just gonna try. You guys, I like the eyeliner for CoverGirl. I think it's awesome. Um, I always like kind of fix up my liner after I do my lashes because the way that sometimes lashes will sit on top of the liner. So then I, I always fix things up afterwards. But let's go ahead and put on some mascara before we do our lashes. And this is the CoverGirl Peacock Flare. I've never tried this one before and it's been sitting in my drawer forever. So I'm like, okay, we need to try this out. So this is what the wand looks like. It's like spiraling on the side, so it's probably very lengthening, and it's got more of the spikiness to it. So let's see. Okay, so here's one eye done and one eye not done, so you guys can see it. I'll look up. I don't know what editing Madison is gonna say. I'll have a little blur pop in if I notice that it's like different than what I'm gonna say right now. Right now, it's like I'm not hating it, but I'm not loving it either. I'm not really noticing a huge difference with it. I'm not really noticing any lengthening or volume. I just feel like my eyelashes are just getting darker. <laughs> So I'm like, eh, it's kind of like okay for me. All right, so now onto the lashes I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use these e.l.f. ones. These ones are really pretty, like really pretty. These are the Winged and Bold Luxe Lash Kit. I am gonna trim these down a little bit and I will be right back after I pop them on. All right, so lashes are on. Dude, you guys, these are pretty, pretty lashes and they're also lightweight so they don't feel like heavy on your eyes. I actually really, really like those lashes. I'm gonna try to find them. Have them linked down for low for you guys because you need to check these out. These are bomb and I love the ones that taper out. You just have to cut off the ends because they are very long. For lips, just go ahead and get right into lips, right? We're like towards the end of this video. So we have some new ones from ColourPop and Shayla's collection. We have Quickie, um, I know, and <laughs> Come on, sis. Here's Quickie. I have a feeling I'm gonna go for Quickie, to be honest. Yeah, I feel like Quickie's gonna match the best with this look. Definitely Quickie. And then I also have the Ultra Glossy Lip that she did, and this is Neat Freak. So we'll even pop that on top of there. So I'm gonna take off my lip balm, apply this lipstick. This is definitely more of a warmer nude. Is this a color that I would like gravitate to? Probably not. I'm a little bit more into like the pinkier, like cool tones, but it goes really pretty with this look. It goes really pretty. And the formula is really nice and ColourPop has like such affordable prices. And now I'm just gonna top it off with the gloss just because I wanna have fun with it. I love glosses. You know what? This one is really nice too because it's not gritty. You don't feel the glitter in it. It's not sticky not tacky, none of that. It's actually very, very comfortable. I would actually wear this a lot on its own. I'm feeling like very like peachy, warm vibes right now. <laughs> okay, so here's the finished makeup look using all the drugstore makeup besides that concealer that I just need, I just needed it to be a little bit lighter, a little bit more coverage. So don't blame me on that concealer. Yeah, this is really, really pretty. I am so impressed with so many of these products, you guys, like very, very impressed. Definitely, I have to say like the e.l.f. primer felt so good. I'm definitely gonna keep using that just because I love stuff that's very hydrating on my skin. This spray is really nice. Like if I had a gym bag, I would put this in my gym bag, but I don't have a gym bag but I would if I had one. I am very impressed with a lot of the products. I have to say like definitely the mask is definitely kind of gimmicky, but it's fun. One of the products I definitely didn't like was the mascara. That one is like, eh, it's okay. This um, CoverGirl concealer right here, it's okay too. I rather go for, is it that Lumi? What was it, L'Oreal Lumi? You know, the other one that twists up, it's like an oldie, but a goodie. That I would recommend, that one's bomb. I think everything else I loved and everything else worked out for me, which is a like a plus, like this was actually a good video. Let me know in the comments down below what other drugstore makeup you want me to test out because I'm definitely like having fun 
dabbling into it all. I have my little like filing cabinet. If you guys saw my makeup collection like declutter video on my vlog channel, you guys will see like my little sections. So I have that like always like filling up. So just let me know what products you want me to use so that way I can definitely throw those in those videos. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you want to see next and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!